Hey gamers, welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. I hope that everybody is doing absolutely fantastic today. In today's video, I'm actually going to go ahead and post a screenshot of what we're actually looking for today. And that is a black and gray galleon Starscream style system freighter. Now, I'm just going to kind of get into the different types of freighters just real quick and hopefully I have all the information correct. Um, so there's two different types. There's going to be a system freighter and then there's the capital freighters. The main differences is the storage um, slots that are available. Now some of these can be upgraded and if you do get an S class, then you can upgrade it further. Um, that's the way that I understand it. I only have an A class and I do have a capital freighter, but the capital freighters or the system freighters you can find just by pulse engine around the system until you find the one that you're looking for and a capital freighter you'll have to go ahead and spend a little bit of time about three hours in game in between each of your fights and then when you warp five times that last system that you come into you'll start to be you'll have to protect a freighter from pirates so it's a little bit more complicated to go ahead and get a capital freighter but this is a system freighter so Ultimately, it's just kind of a luck of the draw. There's a few different ones I have seen in this system and that screenshot that I took a little bit ago, I had to pulse engine in the system about four times prior to finding that exact freighter that we were looking at. Uh, and that one was a C class. So let's go ahead and give credit where credit is due. And I did find this at the coordinate exchange over on Reddit. So I highly recommend that if you guys are interested in finding really anything that you were looking for that you guys go ahead and check out over there but if you guys want me to do something very specific then go ahead and leave a comment down below because i'd like to know what you guys would like to see and what you'd like to see here on the channel with no man's sky but anyway let's go ahead and see if we can find another one here real quick and uh, let's just hop into our ship this is not the planet that you will actually get uh come to this system in and it is in the euclid galaxy so it's in the starting galaxy so if you are further away and you want this specific freighter then you're gonna have to come back but um you will have to have access to a portal and have all 16 of the glyphs so let's just go to the first uh freighter which is located right here we'll fly through the asteroid field where is it at that's right there no, I'm not even looking at it. It's right there. That is not what we're looking at. I'm looking for because it does not have the sides. Now, I have noticed that a lot of these in this system, they are um, black and kind of gray or kind of a chrome style. And I forgot to mention who actually found this and it's actually right there in the on the ship. So my bad, I did say that I found this over in the court exchange, but I didn't say where, who was it? was it but it says tyrannosaurus but on reddit it's tyrannosaur 85 and that's who found this and i think he posted there quite a while or quite a bit just because i have seen his name come up a few different times so this uh freighter doesn't look like the one that we're looking for either and i can tell that just by looking at the silhouette there that is actually what we are looking for but that is not one that we can go ahead and Pain. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get a little bit away from the ships. We're just going to pulse engine, engage the pulse engines, and just go a little bit away from where those freighters are at. Now, you may or may not have to do this a few times. We can get lucky, and when we go ahead and deactivate it, the freighters that actually come around us could be what we're looking for, or they might not be, and we might have to do this again. Now, if you guys are specifically looking for an S-Class, which will basically have more storage capabilities up front and be able to upgrade the storage higher, that actually looks like one that we we're looking for right there. And we're just going to plow through these asteroids to get to where we need to be. And uh, there's only a 15% chance that you'll get anything better than a C-Class. And yes, that is what we are looking for. So let's go ahead and get to the other side so you guys can kind of see it. Obviously, I took the picture and you saw it earlier, but this is this is the one. So that only took us. You saw it live. I didn't even pause this at all, but we found what we're looking for. So now what we could do if this is one that you are interested in buying, which obviously if you're watching the video, maybe you're interested in taking a look at getting a new freighter. 
we can actually go ahead and land and then we'll find out what class this is. No, I'm not gonna purchase this one. Um, oh, it is a capital ship. Okay, but it's a system freighter. Interesting. But we just need to get out and then we can scan it and you can see that it is a C class. So it only has 17 storage slots. It has four technology and only two cargo, which is a relatively small, but you can upgrade some of those depending on if you have cargo bulkheads and or not. Now, the system that we are in is a outlaw system. But anyway, let's uh, now that we've actually found that and hopefully you understand how to find the sister infrators, which I'm probably sure a majority of people do. Let's get into the coordinates so that you guys know exactly how to get here. And just in case you were wondering what my freighter looks like, this is it's it is pretty massive and it's almost all white with just a slight accents of pink. I thought the white and pink looked really cool. So that's kind of my color scheme with all of my ships and even my character. But I thought I would just show that to you so you guys can see. And like I was mentioning earlier, you guys will have access, need to have access to a portal and make sure that you guys have all 16 glyphs. If you don't have all 16 glyphs, then make sure you guys check out one of my other videos here on the channel because I actually tell you guys how to uh, get all 16 glyphs before even finishing the main storyline. But anyway, we're going to go with face it is going to be the sunrise or the sunset. We have the EP. Oh my gosh, I was looking right at it. We got the spire. We've got the balloon. We have sunrise, a sunrise, a sunrise, the dino, the galaxy, the moon, and then the dino. And that is the code that you guys will need in order to get to that specific system. Um, now, the planet that you guys will actually be going to on the other side is going to be a radiation planet. So just be aware that you might have some complications when you get over there if you aren't prepared for that. But I will see you guys on the other side. And here we are where we have landed on the planet and he discovered this uh, this planet as well. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. So anyway, this is the toxic planet or the uh, radiation planet that you do land on. And then we can just hop in our ship and kind of take off and go into space and just do our thing. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video.